Corbyn being a bit disingenuous here in order to prove a point? Absolutely not. I was travelling with Jeremy uh, on the 11th of August up to Newcastle for the Gateshead Hustings that evening. We boarded the train. We walked all the way through the train and there weren't any seats available. Um, and eventually when we got to the far end of the train, you know, there were other people, other passengers unable to take seats who were already sitting on the floor and in the corridors. And Jeremy, being Jeremy, joined them on the floor, got out his newspaper and, and you know, and, and sat down in the same way that many other passengers were doing on the train. I guess where it's quite easy to challenge Mr Corbyn, uh, Virgin Trains would say that if you do look at the CCTV footage, there were clearly seats that were available. So he got up, he walked past a load of empty seats, they may have been uh, reserved, um, did the video and then walked back down where there were clearly s seats that were available. No, it's as I said, I was there with Jeremy when, when this happened. All of the seats, you know, it might not be clear in the CCTV footage, but all of the seats were taken either by people sitting in them, sometimes children sitting in them whose heads would have been lower than the level of the back of the seats, or uh, baggage, luggage that was there reserving them for people. Even um, in some of the pictures of the seats at the front, there were clearly no children on the seats, there were no bags on the seats. The, I, I can tell you, we walked through, the, through all of the carriages and there weren't any seats available. They were all taken in some way or another. So that's why Jeremy went down through all, you know, through, throughout the entire train and then ended up sitting down on the floor for about 40, 45 minutes. It was only later uh, when a very helpful train guard came and notified us that there were some seats that had become available. I think a family had been, uh, had upgraded into the first class section of the carriage. So the team were able to be seated. That happened about 40, 45 minutes into the journey. Virgin Trains wouldn't take the risk of their own reputation if they weren't absolutely sure that they were right, and that's why they've released this CCTV footage. Well, I mean, I do think it's, it's curious that this is a train journey that took place on the 11th of August, and yet um, Virgin Trains and Richard Branson, obviously, you know, people who are opposed to Jeremy's policy of bringing the, train, the railways back into public ownership, have waited until we are on the second day into the Labour leadership election uh, the ballots dropped yesterday, lots of people are voting. It does seem strange that they are bringing this up now. The timing is odd. Are you saying they're lying? Uh, all I'm saying is that I was there on the train with Jeremy and the uh, version of events that, that Virgin Trains are putting forward is skewed. You know, we were there, there weren't seats available when we first got on the train. That's why Jeremy sat on the floor for the first part of the journey. For many people, this will appear like a stunt by Jeremy Corbyn's team in order to make a point, a stunt that has backfired. Does this not tell us about how the Corbyn camp is in complete disarray when it does uh, come to uh, trying to make points, getting it across to the public at large? No, I, look, simply, it wasn't a stunt. We were there on the train. Uh, we hadn't, didn't have any intention whatsoever on of making a social media video. I mean, there are quite literally trains every single day that are overbooked and cramped services. If Jeremy had wanted to find a cramped train, it wouldn't have been difficult for him to do that. That wasn't the case. We were travelling up to go to the Gateshead Hustings. You know, it's supposed to be a nice, quiet journey where Jeremy was going to be preparing. Surely, if you were going to do a, a, a campaign, if you're going to do a video, you would find a train that was completely full where there was no way that the train company, whether it's Virgin Trains or one of the other train companies, could come back and say, no, that's simply not the case. You kind of get the impression that this isn't the first time that this kind of thing has backfired on Mr Corbyn and it probably won't be the last now. I don't think there's any, there was nothing premeditated about it. There was nothing planned in advance about it. We were travelling up to Newcastle. Uh, we were intending to have a quiet journey on the way up there. The train, when we got on, there weren't any seats available. It was a train that was going up to Edinburgh. So obviously with the festival on, there were lots and lots of people. If you go onto Jeremy's website or social media channels, you'll see video footage and photographs of other people, other passengers who were also sitting on the floor during that train journey. Okay. Um, this is something that happened spur of the moment. It wasn't pre-planned and that therefore, you know, it's not something that's backfired. Okay, Emma thank you. Thank you very much.